significant event no sa buhay po nating mga Kristiyano ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Happy Resurrection Sunday to each and everyone. Welcome, welcome to Building Bridges. Welcome to our Sunday online worship. And of course, today is another day to celebrate. And of course, remember yung uh, kapangyarihan ng resurrection ng atin pong Panginoon. And uh, as you know, this is also one of the most important thing na dapat po nating uh, isine-celebrate no on top of the Christmas on top of the birth of Christ ito pong muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon ang siyang nagbigay po sa atin ng panibagong pag-asa panibagong kaligtasan no na para po tayo ay makapiling niya sa uh, habang buhay towards eternity giving us freedom setting our spirits free all of the wonderful benefits is naka-anchor no dito sa atin pong resurrection sunday ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And of course, i-ready na po natin ang ating sarili upang pakurihan at pasalamatan po natin ang ating Panginoon sa kanyang ginawa sa atin pong buhay, ang kanyang mga sakripisyo, yung kanyang perfect sacrifice, yung kanyang finished work. And of course, we're going to celebrate that. We're going to sing praises to God. And at the same time, ihanda na rin po natin ang ating tinapay at inumin Uh, para po sa atin pong communion, gayon din po ang ating mga tithes and offerings. And then of course, let's uh, prepare our hearts and our minds to the Word of God na ibabahagi po sa atin ngayong hapon na ito. And let's get started sa atin pong uh, panimulang verse, no? sa atin pong worship service. At ito po ay hango sa John 11.25. Ang sabi po sa kanyang salita, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, uh, uh, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. You know, Jesus was declaring a lot of things no, sa atin pong buhay. He is the light of the world. He is the, 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 the great shepherd. But one of the things that declare ng atin pong Panginoon is galing po dito sa John 11.25. He said that I am the resurrection and the life. And you know I love this because resurrection brings about new life, new beginning, panibagong simula. Though death has come upon our life, kung may mga failures, discouragement, frustrations, uh, depression na dumadating sa atin pong buhay, always remember that after the death of Christ, there is resurrection. Meron pong muling pagkabuhay, meron pong bagong simula. At yan po ang nais ipaabot sa atin ng ating Panginoon. There's always life in the midst of what you're going through right now. And he says that when we come to him, he is the resurrection. He is the life. And the one who believes in me, the one na naniniwala sa puling pagkabuhay ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, will live. Hindi lang po towards here in this world, but towards eternity. A life everlasting with Christ. And I do hope that you always believe that. And this is the resurrection that gives us hope in all the things that we do sa atin pong buhay. Always remember, Jesus is our resurrection. Jesus is our life. So let us now prepare our hearts and our voices as we worship the one who gives us the hope, the one who gives us the life that we will truly enjoy in this world. So let us sing praises to our God and let's worship him with our voices. given us as you have said in your word in Corinthians 15 57 thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ Lord by your resurrection Panginoon we know that you have paid all of the things that needs to be paid thank you Lord God for delivering us thank you Lord God for the living hope that we have in you salamat Panginoon that whatever is dead sa amin pong buhay, you are the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in you will live and will not die. Thank you, Lord God. For the song goes, by your spirit, we will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected king is resurrecting me. Thank you, Lord God, for that wonderful promise that you have for us. Marami pong salamat, and we truly remember the victory that you have for us because you rose up from the dead. 
Thank you, Lord, and we praise you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, brothers and sisters, napakahalaga po na lagi po nating inaalala itong uh, napakagandang uh, ginawa ng ating pong Panginoon. You know, He rose up by His resurrection. He has paid all the price, but the price was not cheap. I mean, the, the sacrifice not to obtain the price was not cheap. Hindi po madali yung ginawa ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. There was a lot of suffering. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of shame that He took upon Himself so that we can experience all the goodness, all the blessing ng atin pong uh, Panginoon. So at this time, kuhanin po natin ang ating tinapay at inumin. And once again, let us declare the promises of God in our life. Let us remember His finished work. Sabi nga po ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, it is finished. All has been paid for. All has been done. Now all of the love and blessings that God has for us is all we have to do is to receive that. Okay? So in Isaiah 53.5, But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. So all of these blessings, no, the wholeness, the healing, the completeness, the redemption, is now for us to take and receive. Now why is that? Because of what Jesus did back there at the cross. He took it upon himself. He paid for all of it. And by declaring this, by believing in it, sabi sa kanyang salita, we will live. And that life that God is giving us is the life full of blessings, full of um, wholeness, completeness, and healing. So let us declare that. Let us get the, the bread, which represents the broken body of Christ that was paid for us. So let us pray, Lord Jesus, thank you for your body which was broken for me. By your stripes, I declare I am healthy, healed, strong, complete, and whole. Thank you, Lord, for your perfect sacrifice. In Jesus' name, let us partake. Romans 5.17 says, For if by the one man's offense, offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. He's not just the great restorer. He's not just the great healer. But he's also the one who gives us um, authority in all things. No? Sabi nga po, he will allow us to reign in life. And the way we receive that is by having uh, acknowledging this abundance of grace na ipinagkakalobo sa atin ng Panginoon and that gift of righteousness that Christ paid back there at the cross. You know, by His blood, all of our sins have been cleansed. You are now made as pure, no? Very pure. Wala ka ng bahid ng kasalanan because Christ paid for all of it. And aren't you happy with that? Isn't we doesn't we have an awesome God? No, so let us get the cup and let us now declare this blessing of God, the shedding of our uh, sins, the forgiveness that God paid for us. So let us pray, Lord Jesus, thank you for the blood that washed away all of my sins. By your blood, I declare I am forgiven redeemed, restored, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. In Jesus' name, let us partake. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Our hearts are full with all the things that you have done for us. All we have to do right now, Lord God, is to praise you, thank you, worship you, with all of our hearts, for all the things na yung ginawa mo po para po sa amin. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the wholeness. Thank you, Lord God, for cleansing us all from all of our sins. Thank you, Lord God, for now we have that living hope that all of the promises that you have for us are yes and amen. 
In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Ngayon naman po, dako po tayo sa atin pong tithes and offerings. Let us now worship the Lord to our giving. 2 Corinthians 9, 7-8 it says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things, at all times, you may abound in every good work. Tayo po ay magpasalamat sa Panginoon for all the blessings that we have received. Hindi lang po sa mga material na bagay, kundi sa lahat po ng bagay. No? Sabi nga po, God has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. And God has supplied us with all the richness no? <laughs> ng atin pong Panginoon. So thank you Lord for the wisdom. Salamat din Panginoon sa kalakasan. Salamat din Panginoon for giving us the power to produce wealth. So let us now offer our tithes and offerings. You can see din sa ating screen. Kung saan po natin pwede gawin yan. Let us now give thanks to the Lord. Let's worship Him through our giving. And let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for all the things that you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for providing for all of our needs. Thank you, Lord God, for sustaining us and even um, giving us more than what we deserve, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the work sa mga negosyo, sa mga pag-aaral namin, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, that you are there with us at all times. And as you have said in your word, you have given us all sufficiency in all things at all times. And Lord, we just offer this tithes and offerings so that we may abound in every good work in spreading the good news about your love for us and of course, sa lahat ng mga anak mo, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord God, for these things and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Ngayon naman po ay dumako na po tayo sa atin pong pakikinig ng salita ng Panginoon na ihahatid po sa atin ni Pastor John. Let us now prepare our hearts and our minds and let us of course ask wisdom sa Panginoon para ma-encourage na naman po tayo sa araw na ito. So magandang hapon sa iyo Pastor John. Magandang hapon po Pastor Rico. Malinaw naman po. Sorry, yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, thank you. Thank you Kuya. And uh, magandang hapon din po sa bawat isa na uh, kasama natin ngayon sa ating online worship no? to celebrate yung uh, uh, Resurrection Day. No? Um, of course, dahil uh, noon ay ginagawa natin ito. No? Uh, kung naalala natin, no? uh, I think sa Brent po ata, no? or doon doon natin madalas sa uh, ginagawa yung ating uh, uh, Resurrection Worship. But, uh, but we thank the Lord no? at uh, kahit naman sa ang bagay o anong pamaraan ay pwede pa rin natin to i-celebrate no? ang ating uh, ang, ang Resurrection Day. So, uh, sige po, bago po tayo magsimula sa ating uh, uh, preaching, tayo po muna ay uh, tayo po muna ay manalangin sa ating pangito. Let's pray. Panginoon Diyos, kami po ay nagbuburi at nagpapasalamat si Lord for giving us this wonderful time uh, to remember, O Lord, yung, yung uh, uh, resurrection, O God. At, at sa iyong pagkabuhay, Lord, ay nakamit namin at ang victory, Lord, sa aming buhay sa anumang bagay, Panginoon. We thank you uh, sa, sa, sa iyong ginawa, Panginoon, para sa amin na binigay mo ang buhay mo para sa amin, Panginoon. So now I uh, kami po ay uh, nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa Lord for everything that you have done Lord sa buhay natin. At uh, patuloy din po kami pagpalain Lord sa hapon nito. At uh, bless you po kami Panginoon. Give us wisdom and knowledge uh, sa iyong salita na lubos po namin magawaan. At uh, hindi lamang ma- sa isip, may sa puso Lord at may sa gawa rin namin Panginoon ang yung uh, mensahe sa amin Panginoon sa oras nito. Salamat po, Panginoon. Muli pinabalik namin ang kapurihan at kaluwalatian sa pangalan. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so good afternoon po sa bawat isa uh, na nakasama natin ngayon no, sa ating uh, online worship. Pagayon po ang Panginoon. Uh, ngayon naman po, no, yung, ang message po natin is about the triumphant message of the resurrection. Dahil ito po yung... Uh, uh, araw ng kapang araw ng kamatay ay pag muli yung pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon no. Uh, madalas ko kasi naririnig sinasabi yung iba, 'di ba, sinasabi nila nako, 
uh, bawal gumawa ng ganito, bawal pumunta sa ganito, or uh, bawal ka masugatan kasi hindi ka gagaling. No? Marami mga uh, uh, bawal kumain ng, I'm not sure kung bawal kumain ng baboy or something. You know? May mga sinasabi sila na uh, dahil patay daw o tulog or, or wala daw ang Panginoon ng araw na yan. But uh, of course, no, forever naman na ang Panginoon ay nabuhay na. No? Hindi na yan na, na parang every year mamamatay siya. No? But ito ay isang pag, paggunita no? na pag-alala natin sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon at uh, doon sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Dahil ang muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon, ito talaga yung nagbigay sa atin ng victory. No? Itong resurrection ng ating Panginoon. And every year, di ba, we take a day para talaga gunitain alalahanin no and celebrate as a church no yung impact of the resurrection i hope malinaw po yung aking bosses na no? <clears throat> medyo ano lang po ang aking bosses yet tayo mga kristiyano ay na-experience talaga natin yung resurrection every day sa buhay po natin and each day we celebrate the risen lord who sits on his throne after accomplishing salvation for mankind ang buong pong uh, i-Christianity oh, ay nababatay oh, nabatay sa doon sa katotohanan na si Jesus Cristo ay muling nabuhay pagkara, pagkalipas ng tatlong araw. Kaya kung iisipin po natin no, na kung itong resurrection na to ni Jesus ay were removed you know, from Christianity, it would, it would no longer be Christianity. At kung hindi nangyari ito, itong resurrection na to, maring yung mga sinabi ni Jesus ay walang kabuluhan. At tayo na mga tagasunod niya ay para lamang tayong sumunod sa isang namatay na martir. At magiging uh, at magiging kagaya lamang po tayo no? na mga disipulo nung araw ng pagpapako kay Kristo hanggang sa kanyang paghimlay idaladala yung kalungkutan yung discouragement and the lack of hope. No. Sa atin pong teksto ngayon, ay makikita po natin sa Matthew 28, 5 to 7. Sabi po dito, But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. Diba? So, sinabi rin po ni, ni Apostle Paul sa 1 Corinthians, kung hindi nangyari yung, uh, itong resurrection na to, eh walang kabuluhan itong ginagawa natin. No? In 1 Corinthians 15:13 to 17 sabi doon but if there is no resurrection of the dead then not even Christ has been raised and if Christ has not been raised then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain we are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified about God that he raised Christ whom he did not raise if it is true that the dead are not raised For if the dead are not raised, and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Kaya kung hindi na buhay muli ang ating Panginoon, no, if Christ was not who He said, who He said He was, and and hindi niya po ginawa kung ano yung mga sinabi niya, no, dapat gawin niya, then there would be no salvation para po sa ating mga kasalanan. There would be no hope. No, we would be left floundering, no? Parang wala lang nangyayari sa buhay natin. Only to face eternal judgment and wrath at the end. Yet, alam naman natin, no? That is not the case. Because Jesus is alive. Amen. He is raised. He has conquered death because He is our Lord and Savior. Kaya ang resurrection po ng ating Panginoon 
Jesus Christ is the center of the gospel message. Because Christ rose from the dead, nagaya ng kanyang ipinangako, no, mga kanya sinabi sa atin na lahat yun ay totoo. And He is God. And because He rose, we have certainty no, that yung ating mga kasalanan ay may kapatawaran. Sa kanyang pinatawad. Because He rose, He lives and represents us to God. Because He rose, He defeated death. And we know we will also be raised. Kaya ang resurrection po ng ating Panginoong si Kristo proves many things. No? Alimbawa, ang resurrection proves that the Bible is true. No? It proves that Jesus Christ, no, lahat ng sinabi ng Panginoong Yesu Kristo ay totoo. It proves that Jesus Christ is God. Kaya ngayong hapon na ito, no, gusto ko lang pong ibahagi sa atin. Simpleng mensahe po. No? Uh, because the resurrection of Jesus Christ is true and is the completion of the salvation of God. No, it brings with it five resounding truths that impact our life in Christ. Unang-una, the resurrection brings forth eternal life. Sabi na Panginoon Jesus Kristo sa John 11.25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Ayan yung basa natin kaninang na verse natin. So Jesus has power over life. And death, as well power, as well as power to forgive sins. This is because he is the creator of life. No, in John fourteen six, in John fourteen six says, Jesus said to him, "I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father." Except through me. Uh, so he who is life you know, can surely restore life. Now, kung sino mang naniniwala sa Panginoon, whoever believes in Christ has a spiritual life that death cannot conquer or diminish in any way. To those of us na naniniwala, no, na naman, na na, na naman um, have faith no, sa ating Panginoon. Na nananalig sa ating Panginoon. Eh, what a wonderful assurance na meron tayo and certainty na meron tayo. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, I will live again and you will too. Because Jesus rose from the grave, He gives eternal life to those who believe in Him. To those who to believe in Him. Doon sa mga tao na niniwala at na nampalataya sa Kanya. And tayo lahat ay naniniwala dito. At naunawaan natin ang katotohanan ito. So this is definitely a benefit of Christ's salvation. In Romans 4.25 says, Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Kung tinanggap natin si Jesus bilang ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas ng ating buhay, ay eh, nagkaroon po na tinatawag nating divine exchange. No? An exchange takes place. We give Him our sins and He forgives us and makes us rise with God. No? Na wala tayong uh, naiambag doon no? o ginawa o nagawa para ma-earn natin yung bagay na yun sa pamamagitan lamang ni Jesus Kristo. Only through Christ, no, can we be made right in God's eyes. In order for God to justify us and declare us righteous, eh, kailangan mabuhay, no. He had to, to to raise Jesus from the dead. So Christ was raised in order that we might be made righteous. Amen. So Christ was raised upang ating mga kasalanan no, ay uh, malinis at mapatawad. 
that without the resurrection, we will be hopeless. Kaya yung ating eternal life you know, is dependent on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen? Second is the resurrection brings forth the forgiveness of our sins. In Hebrews 2.17 says, Therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. In sa Old Testament po kasi, no, ang high priest na tinatawag nila, siya yung namamagitan between God and his people. Ang kanyang trabaho ay regularly to offer animal sacrifices no, according to the law and to para mag kumbaga, intercede no, sa Panginoon para sa kapatawaran ng kasalanan ng isang katauhan. No. So ginagawa nila yon uh, once a year to make an atonement. So pero ngayon no, si Jesus Cristo po, no, Jesus Christ is now our high priest. Dumating siya sa mundong ito as a human being. So he understands no, yung ating mga weaknesses and shows mercy to us. And knowing that Christ suffered pain and face temptation and help us face our trials, our problems. Naiintindihan at nunuwaan ng ating Panginoon niya no, yung ating mga dalamhati, no, pigati sa ating buhay because He faced them as a human being. So we can trust Christ to help us survive no, suffering and overcome temptation. Kaya kung tayo maharap sa mga matinding pagsubok, I go to Jesus for strength and patience because He understands your needs and is able to help. Ganun po ang ating Panginoon. And of course, He has once and for all paid the penalty for our sins no, sa ating makasalanan sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang kamatayan o pagsakripisyo ng Kanyang buhay. Yung tinatawag natin atonement. And He can be depended on to restore our broken relationship with God. Tayo ay pinalaya no, dun sa kapangyarihan ng kasalanan na yun, no, from from sin's domination over us. Nung tayo ay nag-commit fully sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, no, kinumit natin yung ating buhay sa Kanya and trusting completely doon sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And Christ, in His resurrection, brought forth forgiveness of our sins because He became the sin bearer. Kaya sinasabi ng Bible sa atin that the wages of sin is death. No? Kaya yung kamatayan ni Kristo at ang kanyang muling pagkabuhay set us free no, from the fear of death because death has been defeated. Alam ko po na tayo lahat darating sa punto na mawawala, mamamatay sa mundo nito. But death is not the end. Hindi hangganan yun o no, katapusan. Instead, it is the doorway to new life. But because Jesus is resurrected, He conquers death and brings forgiveness of sins to those who trust Him and believe that He is Lord. And because He is faithful and righteous to forgive us sa ating mga kasalanan and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And third, the resurrection brings forth Christ's intercession for us. No, Because Jesus Christ was resurrected, He brings forth intercession or becomes our advocate. Tinatawag natin no supporter. So, madaling salita before God. No, sabi in, sabi sa 1 John 2, 1-2 says, My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours, 
only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Kaya doon sa mga tao na who are feeling guilty and condemned, no? John offers reassurance. Alam natin, may kasala tayo. Or we know that we have sinned, no? At si Satan, ang accuser, na tinatawag, no? is demanding the death penalty. Kaya when, when you feel this way, don't give, don't give up hope. Because the best defense attorney na meron tayo is pleading sa case natin. No? E si Jesu Cristo ng ating, na ating advocate. No? Your defender is the judge's son. And Jesus Christ has already suffered your penalty in your place. So Jesus Christ is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. He can stand before God as our mediator. Siya yung namamagitan sa atin. Because his death, ang kanyang kamatayan, satisfied the wrath of God against sin and paid the death penalty for our sin. Kinawa yun ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kaya, guys, both satisfies God's requirement and removes our sin. Kaya in Him, we are forgiven and purified. Christ intercede for us. Kaya what, what, what a great truth no? and blessing na malaman natin itong bagay na ito. Na ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, He cares for us. So Satan, no, nandiyan too, is there accusing us. But Christ is there defending us. Amen? And fourth, the resurrection brings forth the Holy Spirit. Jesus says in John 16, 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. So unless Jesus did what he came to do, there would be no good news. Kung hindi po siya namatay, he could not remove our sins. He could not rise again no, and defeat death. Kung hindi rin siya babalik sa Ama, the Holy Spirit would not come. Diba? Kaya yung presensya po ni Kristo, ni Christ, dito sa mundong ito, was limited no, to one place at a time. So kaya yung pag-alis niya, no, yung ibig niya sabihin, ay his living meant he, he could be present uh, to the whole world through the Holy Spirit. Kaya when he speaks of going away, he is talking about his death and resurrection. Yung helper na tinutukoy niya dito, um, he, dito sa ating context na to is the Holy Spirit. After Jesus' resurrection, na yung muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus and siya ay umangat sa langit nung nag-ascend sa heaven, eh makikita natin na immediately sa Acts uh, yung the coming of the Holy Spirit who descends no, na binaba sa lahat ng mananampalataya. So the Holy Spirit is significant in the life of the believer. Nang banal na spirito is the one who teaches you no know, and help us understand the truth. He is the one who empower us for his service. He is the one you no know, banal na spirito who gives us peace. He is the one who gives us joy, strength every time we are weak. So without the resurrection there would be no Holy Spirit here with us. And lastly, five, the resurrection brings forth spiritual gifts. Sabi sa Ephesians 4, 10 to 11, He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might feel all things. 
and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers. No, so, so, nung si Cristo po ay muling nabuhay, was resurrected, the Holy Spirit no, came and dispersed, no, pinakalat itong gift na to. Dispersed this gift to his children. So the Holy Spirit has given each Christian, bawat isa sa atin, a special gift for building up the church. Kaya, mga kapatid, no, kaya kung alam mo ang, ang yung gift, no, kung ano yung gift na meron ka ngayon, look for opportunities to serve. Gamitin mo tong gift na to to strengthen and uh, encourage the church. Bawat isa po sa atin, bawat isa, o bawat mananampalataya, ay pinagkalooban ng ganitong gift. And God has, has God given abilities that can strengthen the whole body. Ang bawat isa sa atin. Yung special ability na yan na meron ka, maliit man yan o malaki, pero yan ay sa'yo. Ay binigay ng Panginoon. Gamitin mo in God's service. Ephesians 4, 7 to 8. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led the host of captains and he gave gifts to men. So mga kapatid, ask God, no? to use your unique gifts to contribute to the strength and health of the body of believers. Ito sa church natin, no? yan ang kailangan natin. Use your gift. Lahat tayo meron yan. Tuklasin mo, alamin mo, at kung alam mo na, igamitin mo. Because Jesus, raised from the dead, ascends to heaven and sends back spiritual gifts so that we can serve God and the church. At lahat ng kung yan, that is all based on Christ's resurrection. Kaya mga kapatid, no? may kli lamang po yung mensahe natin para makita natin yung kahalagahan ng resurrection sa buhay natin. Ano bang impact nito sa atin? Basta lang ba alam natin? Maramdaman natin, malaman natin no, yung ginawa ng Panginoong Yesus at nung siya ay muling na buhay. Kaya, what, what a tremendous blessings no, we have in Christ who is risen indeed. So dahil siya ay buhay, no? Naging narinig na ay patay ang Panginoon na every year na mamatay na lang ang Diyos, no? But forever, no? He is alive. So because He is alive, He brings forth eternal life. The forgiveness of our sins. And intercessions on our behalf before the Father. And the Holy Spirit and spiritual gifts. And we live out these truths. No? Namumuhay natin to. Itong katotohanan na to sa ating buhay. Araw-araw. Ano po? Pamuhay po natin ito. Pakita natin. No? Na ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay buhay. Kaya lang po natin. So, salamat po at magandang hapon po sa bawat isa. Tayo po ay manalan. Panginoon Diyos, salamat po sa mensahe mo. Salamat po Lord na ikaw ay muling nabuhay at hindi na natiling patay. At sa iyong pagkabuhay ay nakamit namin ang tagumpay sa iyong buhay. Sa araw-araw Ano man ang aming ginagawa, Lord. Ano man ang aming mga suliran na problema. Ay kaya namin lagpasan yun. 
at mapagtatagumpayan namin, Lord, dahil sa iyo, dahil ikaw ay nabuhay at nakamit namin ang tagumpay. Salamat, Lord, for everything. Ikaw ay naghirap, masaktan, pinutya, at higit sa lahat pinako sa krus at namatay. Ginawa mo yan para sa amin, Panginoon. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, sa buhay na binigay mo para sa amin. Pinakita mo na kung gaano mo kami kamahal pa. At ang patunay doon, at after three days, ikaw ay nabuhay muli. Salamat Lord, dahil ang lahat ng ito ay may kabuluhan dahil ikaw ay nabuhay. Kaya Lord, muli binabalik namin ang kapurihan sa iyo. Papuri at pasasalamat sa iyo. We thank you for everything that you have done. Dahil ikaw ay buhay, kami rin ay buhay, Panginoon. At kasama ka sa lahat ng oras, lahat ng araw, Panginoon. So we thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Salamat po sa inyong time. At uh, God bless po sa atin. At magandang hapon po. Okay, okay thank you po ulit. No? At ngayon naman po ay... Uh, Ibigay ko po ang times about isa kung meron din pa yung gustong uh, ipagpasalamat sa ating Panginoon. No? Alam mo yung uh, talagang uh, mga blessings na natatanggap natin sa buhay natin. No? At I think ito yung time din na magbigay tayo ng pasasalamat sa ating Panginoon. Okay po. So, sige po. Uh, mag po tayo maya. <laughs> okay, sige po. Uh, tawagin po natin, uh, unahin ko na sa taas ko, si Sister Rose uh, Mendez. Hello, Sister Rose. Magandang uh, hapon sa iyo. Magandang hapon din po. Magandang. Kamusta po? <laughs> Naririnig po ba ako? Yes po. Apo, narinig po, sis. Uh, gusto ko lang po magpasalamat uh, yung para sa mga elders po. Yung, at saka po sa inyo, Pastor yung binigay ko nila para kay Shane Rose na yung hindi ko na po babanggitin ko ano man po yun basta nagpapasala malaki pa salamat po ako sa elders na ibinigay po kay Shane Rose yung yung yun basta yun <laughs> basta yung binigay po para kay Shane thank you very much po sa inyong lahat malaking blessing po para sa atin yun kasi talagang need me Shane po Thank you, thank you po. Yun lang po. Okay, so thank you, thank, thank you rin po. No? Thank you rin, Sister Rose. At uh, uh, yun naman po ay uh, uh, pagpapala ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. No? Yung share yung, yung blessing din ng Panginoon. And uh, uh, gano'n naman ang isang pamilya no? sa isang tahanan ay eh, dapat eh, uh, nagtutulungan no? ang bawat isa. Pa? So thank you po. Uh, Ati Rose, salamat po sa inyo. At uh, patuloy po kayong pagpalain at ingatan ng ating Panginoon. Salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyo. Thank you. And uh, next naman po natin si Ila Justin. Hello Justin. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Jazz. Hello po. Si Kim po to. Ay, hello, Kim. <laughs> okay, Kim. Sige. Kamusta, Kim? Ano, bali yung ipagpapasalamat ko po is ano, yung sa, yung binigay ni Lord na ano, family sa akin. Mm-hmm. Kahit, ano, parang kahit sobrang ano, may mga nagagawa akong mali, gano'n. Mm-hmm. Parang paulit-ulit na <laughs> paulit-ulit nila akong tinatanggap. Mm-hmm. Kasi may mga time na hindi na talaga tama yung nagagawa ko, ganun. Mm-hmm. Pero ano, hinihipo ni Lord yung puso ng family ko. Mm-hmm. Na ano, na na patawarin ako, ganun. Mm-hmm. Ano, lalo na si yung mga tita ko na laging nag-guide sa akin. 
na hindi nagkukulang sa mga ano, sa mga... Basta yun, yun sa pag-guide. Lagi silang ginaguide din ni Lord para itama. Tulungan akong itama yung mga mga maling nagawa ko sa, bu- sa buhay. <laughs> Ayun lang. So, sobrang blessed din ako na na namumuhay sila ng kasama din si Lord. Kasi kung hindi siguro dahil din kay Lord, tapos h- hindi ulit magiging okay yung sitwasyon na sitwasyon namin ngayon, pati lalo baka hindi rin nila ako napatawad, ganun. Kaya sobrang thankful po talaga ako na may ganitong may, may ganito akong pamilya na napapatawad ako sa lahat ng mga nagawa. Mm-hmm. Ayun lang po. Amen, amen. Okay, thank you, Kim. No? At uh, inyong pagmamahal ng, ng uh, family talaga uh, because of uh, alam nila yung love ng Panginoon din para sa kanila. So ito ay uh, uh, sinishare din no? sa about family, yung love na ipinadama ng Panginoon sa kanila. So uh, uh, thank you, Kim. Uh, thank you sa, sa pag-share mo sa um uh, sa tao nito sa tapang na na uh, ito ay uh, na share mo no? okay sige salamat po at uh, magandang hapon sir Kim at patuloy kang pagpalain ng ating Panginoon okay po sige dito naman po tayo kay Maika hello Maika magandang hapon sa iyo hello pa sorry din po yes po Hello po, kamusta po? <laughs> so, yun yung, uh, yung akin naman po. Um, Unang-una pa, um, thankful po ako kasi um, may reminders na naman si Lord sa akin ngayon na di ba nga sabi mo nga kanina na hindi sa kanya wala tayong hope or ano tayo, hopeless tayo, di ba? Hopeless tayo sa mga nangyayari, sa buhay natin, sa mga trials na... Um, pinagdadaanan natin, mahirap, ma, uh, mahirap mabigat. Pero sabi nga, di ba, na lahat yan pinagdaanan ni Christ. Lahat yan um, naiintindihan niya. Kaya mas maganda talaga na lumapit tayo sa kanya kasi alam niya mismo, na-experience niya mismo dito sa mundo na um, lahat na nararanasan na temp na na temp na siya, di ba? Pero nandun pa din yung um, pananalig niya pananalig niya na malalagpasan niya lahat ng temptation na binibigay sa kanya ng kaaway, lahat ng trials sa pinagdadaanan niya. So, yun po yung isa sa um, talagang um, naging um, reminders sa akin ngayon ni Lord na lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin sa mundong to, lahat ng pinagdadaanan, mahirap, mabigat, pero always remember na nandyan si Lord na nakakaintindi sa atin. So, yun lang po. Thank you po. Thank you, thank you, Maika. At <laughs> praise God. At uh, patuloy kang uh, ingatan ng Panginoon, no? lalo na sa pagpasok mo sa school. Okay? So God bless, Maika. Thank you for your time. And uh, ingat talaga. Okay, sige. Dito naman po tayo kanila, Kuya Bong. Hello, Kuya Bong. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. <laughs> Hello po. Magandang hapon po. Kamusta ang Bicol? Magaling na yung kapon. Ang sila pa sa doon sa preaching mo. Time na kailangan natin marimay kung ano yung important resurrection day. Kung ano yung significance nito sa ating buhay bilang sa Christian. And nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon sa pagbigay sa amin ng mga ng time na mag uh, mag uh, banding no uh, uh, last week uh sa people and uh, thank you sa Panginoon sa pagbigay niya sa amin wala namang uh, naging uh, uh, discuss or naman uh, wala sa kung ano nangyari and uh, pinatakhan kami sa byahe medyo malayo no mga 9 hours halos kulang ko lang niya pero ako lang nag-drive so so protection at uh, alakasan yung mga sakit ah habang nagmamaneho and uh, ayun happy naman yung mga bata 
Happy naman si Mrs. So, uh, happy ako. <laughs> Gusto ko happy ka. <laughs> sabi niya. Sabi niya. Sabi niya. Praise God. Uh, praise God. Uh, masaya yung mga bata. So, masaya na rin ako. Yeah. Kailan <laughs> <Yeah>. ang pagod. Ano <laughs> <laughs> ba't hindi nag-drive si Ate Lala? <laughs> Uh, probensya kasi medyo mahirap na uh, may hazards eh. So, uh, uh, baka mamaya, imbis na masaya yung biyahe. Kaya siya na lang. Di ba? Nadi happy lahat. No. <laughs> anyway, sige, sige. Apo. Salamat sa... Thank you, Pasol, for, for the food. Okay, thank you po. Thank you rin po at ilalain kayo po. Nag-abla sa inyo para at uh, patuloy po kayong ingatan na ating Panginoon. Salamat po at magandang hapon po. Okay, sige. Kuya, Kuya Jun naman. Kaya na lang Kuya Jun. Magandang hapon po. Kuya Jun. Ah, good afternoon, Pastor. Ayun, good afternoon po. Yan. Uh, hindi na ako magbibidyo. Nakamopay lang kasi ako. <laughs> sige po. Okay lang po. Anyway, uh, happy Resurrection Day no, sa lahat. And first of all, uh, siguro uh, magkiting din ako oh, kay God kasi after two years, first time din uli namin nakalabas. So nagkaroon din kami ng vacation. Not, not only with my family, no, pati yung family ni Lizel. So it's a good two days bonding. Uh, masaya naman. So thank God for the... Uh, yung pag-iingat at saka yung naging successful yung aming vacation na for the first two after two years na kaya masayang masayang mga bata kalabas <laughs> and about uh, the message ano thank you pastor uh, sabi nga ano yung eto yung pinaka importante yung ano eh araw eh no? yung resurrection day kasi without this yung word of God yung preaching ni Jesus at saka ng mga apostles Uh, tsaka ng mga early Christians. No? So, mababali wala no? kung wala ito, yung resurrection. Kasi this is a proof na there's life after death. No? Na sa kabila ng mga pain, sorrow, trials, problems, uh, there's still hope. No? Meron tayong hope and we are looking for that in the future. No? So, kasi kung wala yun, siguro parang bali wala na rin tayong ano, yung mamuhay. Ano? Wala tayong inaasa na wala tayong magiging guide. Ano? Kaya yung resurrection yes. talaga yung pinaka-importante no kasi disprove na there's is life after death no. Na yun lang nga ginawa ng ating Panginoong Kristo na pinatunayan niya yung uh, plano, yung promise atin na meron tayong hope na in the future eh yun ang ating aasahan. Kaya mm. meron yung ating pamumuhay ngayon, yung ating life nagkakaroon ng meaning no? Kasi we are looking mm-hmm. for that promise no. Yun ang nagiging inspiration natin eh. Kasi kung wala yon siguro, kanya-kanya na lang tayo ng buhay, no? Bahala na siguro, no? <laughs> And, uh, kasi, ang ina natin is yung we look for something na yung nandun yung eternal peace, joy, you know? Mm-hmm. Tsaka yung everything is perfect, you no? Know, para sa ating uh, yes. buhay at para sa ating Panginoon sa Christ. Yun lang po. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. And happy Resurrection Day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kuya Jun. At, uh, Yeah, patuloy din po kayong ingatan at ipalain ng pag Enjoy po sa inyong uh, uh, vacation no, together with your family. Po. Salamat po, Kuya Jun, and God bless po sa inyo. Magandang hapon po. Okay. And uh, dito man po tayo kay Ati Mucha. Magandang hapon, Ati Mucha. Hi, Pastor. Ayun. Hello po. Magandang hapon po. Ayan. Uh, Ayan. <laughs> Hello po. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon po. Good afternoon po sa mga kasama natin. And happy Resurrection Sunday po sa ating lahat. Sana ay masayang-masaya kayo kahit ano pa ang ating sitwasyon. Lalo na yung mga <laughs> nagagala dyan. Ayan. Thank you, Lord. That... Uh, nagiging normal na nga, bumabalik na mm-hmm. at uh, talagang ang grace niya, ano yun, talagang yun ang nagpapatibay sa atin. So, Pastor, thank you mm-hmm. sa preaching ngayon. Hi, Peter! Happy... Peter, asa ng ano? Hi. 
Ayan, kumusta ka na, Peter? <laughs> Ayan. Uh, hindi sumagot, Pastor. <laughs> oh, suplado. <laughs> Baka inaantok pa. Ayan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa napakaraming blessings. Ayan nga. Uh, pero gusto ko nga itong Resurrection Sunday na to, no, yung kasi lahat naman tayo nakaka-experience nga ng mga challenges sa buhay. Mm-hmm. Pare-pare, I mean, magkakaiba tayo yung na-experience, pero uh, ano yung, kumbaga parang yung Good Friday natin. Ang kagandahan ng Good Friday natin ay may Easter Sunday, di ba? Ano siya, dadaan lang talaga. Kaya, uh, ano yung resurrection ni, ni Jesus talaga, eh, yun ang nagbibigay sa atin ng buhay na kung ano man ang, ang dead, dead sa buhay natin. <laughs> Pag pumasok si Jesus dyan, talagang resurrection. So, kaya itong confidence natin, itong hope natin, eh, talagang nagpapatibay at uh, thank you Lord na wala-wala ka talagang ibang, walang iba pa, walang papalit, walang, wala kang, <laughs> nothing you can have more than this, this uh, love of God sa atin through His resurrection na kung ma- ma-internalize talaga natin ano ba itong pinanghahawakan natin ito, ito yung ating source ng ating faith na bakit pag naniwala tayo magmamaterialize, wag lang tayo bigin yes. up. Kaya, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So those who all believe, no? So those who believe in Christ, no? talagang andun, andun lahat, eh. yung, yung victory na yun, eh. ito, ito yung pagkabuhay ni Cristo, yan yung patunay. Eh, no? Oo, oh, talaga. Na, sa lahat ng bagay, we are, we are already victorious, sabi nga, no? because oh. of the resurrections ng ating Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, sis. Idagdag doon sa ako, sino man yung ating mga narinig ko kasi, although pasensya na, <laughs> hindi ko masyadong, <laughs> nandun kasi ako sa rin, <laughs> medyo okay may mga nandun. Ano, uh, kung, kung ano man ang pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, gamitin natin lahat ng ating, binigay sa atin ng Lord yung power of words, ano, speak to our mountain, yung promises mm-hmm. ng Diyos, ayan, nandun, mm-hmm. wag lang yeah. time bibigay, eh, ano yan, matatapos din yan. <laughs> amen, <Wow>. amen. <laughs> praise God, praise God. Thank you po. Thank you Ate Mucha. And uh, ang nakita ko si Ate Patch. Hello Ate Patch. <laughs> Kamusta oh, ikaw? <laughs> Saan ba? <laughs> Hello po. Kamusta po? <laughs> Okay po. Thank you, thank you, Ate Patch. And God bless po sa inyo, no? At uh, uh, hopefully, uh, talagang magkasama-sama na ulit tayo sa ating pag-worship. <laughs> Magkita-kita, makapag-fellowship na tayo ulit. Yeah, so thank you po. At uh, patuloy po kayong pagpalain at ingatan ng ating Panginoon. No? Uh, thank you, Pastor. Uh, salamat po sa inyo. Salamat po at magandang hapon po. God bless po. Thank you po. Okay, so uh, mukhang uh, tawag naman po ang lahat. So uh, purihin po ang Panginoon no, sa bawat isa na nakasama natin ngayon sa ating uh, online worship. And uh, truly no, na itong uh, Resurrection Day eh, talagang uh, uh, kumbaga, i- igunitain natin no, every day. Sabi nga natin, eh, eh, na-experience natin to every day sa buhay natin. No, because Christ is reason no siya ay nabuhay at nandoon siya no who sits doon siya na nakaupo sa kanan trono ng ating Panginoon no kaya uh, tayo ay patuloy lang no na manalig manimpalataya magtiwala sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoon ng ating Panginoon no andiyan siya para sa atin na kaya nga na sinabi natin no na uunawaan niya lahat ng uh, ating uh, na suliranin sa ating buhay, ano man ang ating kinaharap, i-andyan ng ating Panginoon. At, at uh, ano man problema yan, eh, no? eh, mapagtatagumpayan natin. Actually, mapagtagumpayan natin yan. Ba, dahil kailangan lang natin itong uh, i-declare sa buhay natin, no? eh, nasabihin natin yung, yung victory na meron tayo sa dahil sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon, Yesu Cristo. Okay po, so salamat po mga kapatid at uh, uh, kita-kita po ulit tayo no, sa ating uh, uh, mga ministries. Okay po, kung wala na po, tayo po ngayon ay manala.
And let's pray. Panginoong Diyos, kami po ay nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat sa iyo, Panginoon, sa araw na ito. Salamat po, Panginoon, at uh, sa araw na ito, uh, ito po ay isang pagpapala sa aming buhay, Panginoon, na pagpapala na kung saan kami ay, ay, ay na-encourage lalo, Panginoon, sa buhay namin, na maging matatag kami, na lubos na magtiwala sa iyo, dahil uh, ikaw ay nabuhay, pinatunayan mo ang yung mga salita at uh, mga sinabi, Panginoon, para sa amin, na hindi mo kami iiwan o tataligtan, Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord, sa iyong pagmamahal sa bawat araw. Salamat po sa mga mga provisions na binibigay mo sa amin. Ano man ang aming mga pangangailangan ay pinagkakalob mo ito sa aming Panginoon. Kaya salamat, Panginoon, ang aming puso at isipan ay lubos na nagagalak at nagpapasalamat sa iyo, Panginoon, sa iyong kabutihan. Uh, hindi po aksidente ang, ang kami naririto, Panginoon, bagkos uh, lagi may dahilan at ikaw ay may plano sa aming Panginoon uh, na marinig itong mensahe na ito sa aming buhay. Salamat, Lord, uh, sa iyong mga pagpapala sa amin. Uh, pagpalain niyo po ang aming mga kapatid na rito ngayon, ano man ang kanilang ginagawa, bless the work of their hands, Panginoon. Kayo po ang siyang mag-ingat at magpatnubay sa kanila, Panginoon. Mga kapatid, tanggapin po ang pagpapala ng, ng Panginoon sa atin sa hapon na ito. And now to Him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of His glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen and amen. Magandang hapon po sa atin, mga kapatid. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. Happy uh, Resurrection Day. God bless po sa inyo. At salamat po at magandang hapon po. Thank you, Kuya Rico. God bless po. Thank you, Lord. Sa inyo, Micah and Sister Rose and Kim. God bless po sa inyo. Bye. Thank you. Bye.